home prepared to drop the pink your drawers up. Because every time I do this, you're going to see some companies you do this this way. I guarantee you. So Lehman Brothers, Lehman Brothers benefited off slavery. Edna, J.P. Morgan Chase, New York Life. Let's get into it real quick, but I'm, 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 let me keep my eyes fixed on faces. Wachovia, Rothschilds and Sons, the Norfolk Southern. Okay, we'll talk about them for a second. These are real, uh, railroad companies, right? And they would actually go to plantations and they would rent a slave for, for them $180 for a year, right? And basically, now there's two forms of business going on. This is where some of the insurance companies come in because when you would rent a slave, you were responsible for feeding that slave and returning them back in the same condition. But we take out an insurance policy on it also. So some of these banks, some of these, some of these banks and some of these uh, insurance companies and even some of these medical companies, this is what they would do. They would cover liability. USA Today. USA Today's parent company is EW Scripps and Gannett, and they have major links to slavery. Fleetwood Boston, Fleet Boston Financial, John Brown was the founder of that. John Brown is a slave trader and owned slave ships, right? And if you've ever heard of Brown University, that's their founder. That's who it's named after. Oh, wait till we get to the schools. Let's see who else. CSX. Yeah, CSX would definitely rent slaves. They had two, uh, they would rent them for $200 for the season. I mean, if you watch Django, you hear them talking about the mines and stuff. Same thing. Canadian National Railway. Now, we also, we often think of people running to Canada for freedom. But then we have a company that before everything, before they stopped everything, that they were definitely making some money off the slaves. And they had almost $200,000 worth of slave labor on their books, which would be about $2.2 million today. So the mines and mills made their money off of slavery, so not just companies, because remember we had these coal mines, these uh, gas mines, all of this very stuff that they was pulling up out the ground. So they would make their money. Brown Brothers and Harriman, any investment bankers in here? The oldest and largest investment bank in the, in the U.S. owned hundreds of slaves, and they basically financed the cotton economy on their own. Brooks Brothers. Oh, God, I love a Brooks Brothers suit. Purple feelings. Yeah, but Brooks Brothers used to make clothes for slaves. So when you would buy your slaves their two outfits for the year, they fed the need. West Point Stevens. Anybody here standing in a hotel? West Point Stevens. West Point Stevens is a parent company to all of these companies. Alright? They one of the cotton places that's still around and still make that money. So when I tell you that these companies are still around, which I'll be playing. This is why I asked if anybody was uh, staying in a hotel. You know that big comfy warm blanket that you just can't wait to get when you just check in, especially if it's somewhere called the Lux. Well, the Lux is connected to West Point Stevens. Yeah, they make that money still. The Barclays, we talk about the Barclays. AIG. You might know about AIG. I mean, you can't not know AIG. AIG was one of the two big to fail companies in the world. Tiffany and Co. Yes. It's going to change the way you look at them wedding rings. Yeah. Originally, five days for the products of a, of a uh, cotton mill and uh, also very well connected to blood and conflict dollars. Bank of America. 
R.J. Reynolds, now we're getting into the tobacco people. If you smoke, if you're a cigar person like yourself, this is going to be gruesome. So, R.J. Reynolds, they, they the people that produce Camel, and Salem, and Winston, and it ain't no, there's no joke about those names, I've never thought about them, because those are areas of North Carolina, and uh, you ever travel to North Carolina, you ever have tobacco road? It's for all of them, those places still have plantations. I mean, they call them big farms or whatever now, but hey, you can still go see them places. Brown Williamson and, Brown and Williamson tobacco, well now, they handle cool, lucky strike, private stock. The cigarette and the and the to the and the damn on cigar. We ain't talking lightweight stuff now. Still around. Because I know y'all have heard of them companies. I know you've heard of those brands. So let's continue on. Well, who benefited? Well, some colleges and some universities benefited off of slavery. Oh, yes, they did. Who benefit? Let's start right at the top of the list with Harvard Law, baby! Tour in Haiti. 